Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's default workflow for the Bugisto, we'll be seeing how we can add a slider at the home page or any other page as per the requirement there. So right now you can see that we are on the home page and here we are having these sliders that are sliding. At the very top you can see men's formal FUS, exclusive watches, flat 30% off, so on and so forth. These uh, banners are going left to right and being displayed on the home page itself as you can see right now. So what I've done is I've created three different uh, banners and I have added them to the home page of the website there by using the home page URL. I have uh, placed the banners on the home page there at the very top itself automatically. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking how we can add a slider at the home page or any other page as per the requirement there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So this is the banner uh, or the slider that is visible on the home page. I have added three sliders there and all of these are being displayed here on the home screen very easily in a slide motion as you can see everything is going from right to left and then again the first one would be displayed back uh, on the banner there then again the second one then the third one there so this is the home page where I've added the sliders there now how to add the sliders to the home page for that what I'll do is I'll take you to the admin backend panel of the Bugisto and we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email address password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter after we have signed in, we'll be able to see the dashboard. So now what we need to do is we need to navigate to the gear icon on the side panel. And here we have to go to the sliders section. So let's tap here on the sliders. So here you can see that I've added one, two and three sliders. All of these three sliders are visible on the home page itself. Slider number one. Slider number two and then we'll be able to see the slider number three as well this is the third one again being displayed on the home page there then the slider one again on the home page itself right so how to add this slider to the home page now uh, i've already added this slider but before i show you the already added sliders and let me edit them up for you let me show you how we can create a slider or a new slider by tapping on the create slider button on the top right hand corner there so I'll just tap here on the create slider button that will bring up this particular section uh, that says create slider here we'll be able to select the locale for which we want to create the slider for for example the English uh, locale we'll give the name for the slider we'll select the channel for which the slider is being created we'll choose the expiry date of the slider we'll set the sort order of the slider as 0, 1 or 2 that means number one, number two, or number three. We'll add the image, and the resolution should be between 1920 pixels by 550 pixels. There, if you want, you can also add the content to the image, or you can add links to the image as well as for your own requirement. There, and you can insert link, media, image, horizontal line, or uh, you can also add content or text within the images. There. And then you have to set the slider path. So for now, I have selected this particular path. That's the HTTP colon uh, forward slash forward slash 192.168.15.17 forward slash demo bagisto forward slash public because this is the home page of my website there itself, right? So I'm adding the sliders to the home page of my website there. And then what you need to do is you need to tap here on the save slider button. So under the slider path, you can give the path uh, of the slider where you are going to add your slider. It can be any of the pages there where you want to add it to. Uh, it can be of a product page as well, maybe. So here you have to give the slider path. Now let me take you back uh, to the sliders that I have created. This is the slider number one. If I edit it up, I can delete it as well as for the requirement. So here you can see that I've chosen the location as English. The name has been set as slider one channel is default channel the expiry date is 18th of the month 
the sort order is zero the image is this one exclusive watches uh, I'm not uh, set any content and the slide path is the home page of the website there now if I take you to the front end here the very first image that we will see would be a slider one and this is the slider three so this is the exclusive watches flat 30% off this is the first slider right similarly I have added the slider number two if I edit the slider number two I scroll down here's the back image I can go with the flow uh, by now option that has uh, the, this particular thing written on the particular image itself and the third one that I have added is for the blazers that you saw if I show you this is the first one this is the home page where I have edited the sliders this is the second image or the second slider and this is the third one men's formal affairs up to 50% off and if I scroll down here is the men formal affairs up to 50% off this is the third one that I have added if I want I can add some content to this as well test for example let me set it as test uh, content and if I want I can make it uh, or I can insert a hyperlink as well as for the requirement there and I can save the slider let's refresh this particular page at the front end this is the first slider this is the second slider This is the third slide and here you can see that the test content has been written in the center of the image here. Test content has been written, the one that we just added to the slider in the third slider here. If I edit it up, here is the test content that I edit, the same is visible here on the uh, slider itself. So yes, that was how we can basically add the slider at the home page or any other page of our website very easily by navigating to the gear icon and going to the sliders and here we can add the sliders as per our own requirement. We can set the sort order, or sort order of the sliders as per the requirement there and then accordingly depending upon the channel name and the locale for which we have added the slider, the slider would be visible on the particular link. Uh, or what we say as the slider path that we have given on that particular slider path that particular slider would be visible to the customers as per the requirement there so yes that was much about how to add a slider at home page or any other page and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same if you still have any questions curiosities or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.ubdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.